Hey guys, Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles here. I went to a bunch of different banks today uh, trying to find some half dollars, but it didn't work out. So I did pick up a whole bunch of random rolls, all different banks. I got a couple of rolls of dollars, which I don't normally do, but we'll see. Some customer wrap rolls of dimes, some nickels, some new nickels there. Uh, probably just pull those aside. I'm not sure. And some half dollars. So let's get into it. I'll bring you in if I do find anything. If I don't find anything, you'll never see this. All right. Be back. All right. So the second roll. Looks like uh, I may have found a silver. Let's see. That's it. Not too much. 1967. Would you look at that? I was not expecting that. All right. Bring it back in if I find anything else. All right. So out of 11 rolls. We found one silver, 67, which all in all isn't bad. As we all know, we've hunted boxes and don't find anything. I have a couple of piles of checkers, then the 73D, the 74D, and the 77D to check. And then I have this pile of potential album fillers just to see if I have anything that might swap something out. So that's our wrap up for the half dollars. And I'm going to try in on the dollars and see where we go from there. I've never hunted half dollars. I mean, I'm sorry, dollars. So I don't even know really what I'm looking for aside from like the wounded eagle and the edge lettering. But we'll see. We'll be back. All right, guys, here's my dollar finds. Well, not finds, but just what was in the roll. Bunch of 2000Ds and 2001s. I saw this. Let's see. William Henry Harrison. I couldn't tell if it had edge lettering. I don't know why it won't focus. From here it looks like it does. This is also one that didn't look like it, but it does now. I did find this Sacagawea dollar. It could be like a grease strike. Or it's just really, really worn. It's on both sides. Pretty worn. So it's probably like a dryer coin or something. That's really it. So I got the 2000 P's to check. And then these here, I don't know if I have anything that's out of the ordinary. If you guys see something, let me know in the comments. It's like I said, I don't. Uh, I don't really know much about these. I didn't find any of the uh, the wide rim, but that's it for the dollars. Nothing to write home about yet, but I will check these. I think now maybe I'll go into the dimes and kind of just rip through those real quick. All right, we'll be back. Just real quick, I do know about the Cheerios dollar. I'll take a look for those too. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, nothing out of the federally wrapped rolls of dimes. I did uh, pull a couple 2004 P's that I'll check for the double deer and a couple of the 1969s that I'll check for the proof reverse. Now I'll go into the customer wrapped rolls of dimes and hopefully have better luck. 
I'll be back. All right, well, the dimes, as expected, were terrible. They did pull aside some uh, 65s. A couple more 69s to check for the proof reverse. A couple of 70s and a couple more 2004s. All right, I'm going to tackle the nickels next. We'll be back. All right, out of roll two of the nickels, I found one 1946 Philly. I'll have to probably check that for the Henning. All right, I'll be back. Roll five, I got a 1956 Denver. All right, we'll be back. Guys, I missed one for an ender. Those two in the middle are fakers, but I did not see this one. So let's see what it is. Nineteen forty three Philly. Awesome. Got silver on the board for the nickels. I wasn't expecting this. Cool. All right, we'll be back. Let me show you these fakers. I hate these nickels. Oh, 1957. Denver. And an 87. Philly. All right, let me finish going through this roll, and we'll be back. Roll seven at a 1957 Denver. Okay, we'll be back. Roll 10 at a 1958 Denver. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so my phone died. So I finished up with the nickels. Um, I found a Canadian. Nineteen eighty-four. A couple of forty-sixes. A fifty-six. Fifty-seven. A couple of fifty-eights. And I saved the sixty-threes to look for the DDO. <laughs> We have the 1943P Silver. Now this one I have a question. This 1957 uh, D. Is this one of the years for a Black Beauty? Because I have never seen one this dark before. The Rim is uh, brownish, or could it just be dirty? What do you guys think? I'm not so sure about that. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna finish it up here, just because my phone is ready to go. So, we got those, we did get the 67 Kennedy, which I really wasn't expecting, and a whole bunch of coins that I gotta check for varieties, but that's it for today. If you enjoyed that hunt, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and uh, we'll see you the next time. All right. Bye.